Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well so far today. So today is the second in the series for the chakra balancing. And we're going to start with the mantra that uh, goes with our second chakra, which is above the first one, above the root chakra, above the muldhar chakra. And it is called the Svadhisthana chakra. And it deals with our creative energy and allows us a fulfillment as humans to create and um, flourish in life. The mantra associated with the Svadhisthana Chakra is VAM. V-A-M, VAM, short A again. So the first one is LAM, second one is VAM. And so as we move through our poses, you are welcome to, in your mind, recite the sound VAM. Um, these are all dynamic movements as well. And so please take it easy. Do only as much as is comfortable for you. And um, don't push yourself to a point of discomfort where your breath, either you're holding your breath or it's ragged. You always want to measure how your body is reacting by your breath. If you have a smooth, soft breath, your body is okay. And if at any point you start holding your breath or it's a ragged breath, you know you're pushing beyond what your body prefers at the time. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with a little bit of grounding. The grounding as we did yesterday is Om So Hum. So we'll begin our hands together. Um, our, so we'll begin our hands on our knees Thumb and forefinger together if you would like with Om Soham. Om Soham. Om Soham. So this one begins with a cat-cow spinal flexion. So again, you can do these poses anywhere from 30 seconds to three minutes, depending on your um, stamina that day. And we'll begin. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. This is one of the best poses you can do to keep your spine healthy.
push back into child and rest a moment in Balasana. And then coming back up, you'll move into butterfly pose. So placing the soles of the feet together, lengthening the spine. We're just going to go ahead and butterfly it this time. So whether your knees reach the mat or not is irrelevant. You're still getting a beautiful stretch. And um, again, we're working on the um, second chakra, Swadhisthana chakra. And so all of our movements will be based in the lower spine. A lot of our tension that we hold in our bodies is in our hips and groin area. And this helps to release a lot of that tension. Try to become, be aware of your body as it moves, noticing any sources of discomfort or tension. And as long as there's no pain, you should be okay. But be aware of what's occurring in your body as you move. Aware of any sensations. This is a pose that actually you should probably do every day. It's really one of the key poses in yoga, in, in hatha yoga, in um, lay yoga. So it's, it is a critical pose for good reason. Give yourself a moment. We're going to come into easy pose. We're so, going to extend our thumbs overhead and um, continue. So you're pushing the sky with your thumbs over here. Tall spine, just easy pose and breath of fire.
and release. Give yourself release and give yourself a moment. So we're gonna do a lunge pose. We're gonna extend. Well, let's a lunge pose. We're gonna extend our right leg out and um, come up on the back leg and then breath of fire. Your gaze is straight ahead and we'll begin. We're going to lower the leg, come into pigeon, pigeon pose, and continue with breath of fire. So you're holding yourself up over here. Begin. We're going to repeat on the other leg. So you're going to do a lunge. Hold your lunge and begin breathing. Lower your leg, come into pigeon pose, and breath of fire.
So you're going to come back. Hug your knees into your chest and breath of fire here. We're going to extend our legs out and do alternate leg lifts. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So no breath of fire here. Try to keep your belly tight as you move. And just Roll that out side to side for a moment. So we're going to pull in and extend out. Pull in and extend out. Pull in and extend out. Give yourself a moment and then you're going to go ahead and pull in the right leg and the other one will move up and down. And then we're going to switch out legs.
pull both legs in. And we're gonna go ahead and come into forward bends over here. So legs extended, tall spine, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And coming into Shavasana for a moment, allowing your body to assimilate and transform. You want to allow yourself five to 10 minutes of Shavasana. So you're welcome to turn off the video and allow yourself that transformation. Um, for the meditation, as I said, you will use the sound VAM and simply internalize that sound, repeating it in your mind Thank you so much for sharing this time with me.